Hey everybody, so I wanted to share with you some of my favorite drugstore products because these are products that I have always gone back to and watching other people's favorite drugstore product videos have actually helped me a lot and I will actually be watching the video while I'm in the drugstore looking for stuff. So I wanted to show you guys some of my kind of tried and true favorite products. So we'll start first with face stuff. My very, very, very favorite foundation from the drugstore is the Revlon Photo Ready and I don't know if they have this one anymore because the last couple of times I've gone to look for this specific bottle um, it's changed there's a couple of other variations of it but I can't find this one so let me know if you know if it's discontinued because I would be so sad I do have a backup but after that one's gone it might be gone so this is the foundation that I wear every single day it's the Revlon Photo Ready in golden beige and I just love the finish of it it makes your skin look healthy I feel like it has just a little bit of glow to it I absolutely love it I've never found a foundation that I like more than this one the second runner-up to that foundation would be these two and I kind of alternate between these as well and the first one is the L'Oreal true match and of course everyone knows what this foundation is it's been around forever the only thing is after I wore the Revlon Photo Ready, I feel like the True Match is a little bit heavy on my skin, like it feels a little bit heavy. And then the other one is the L'Oreal Visible Lift. I have this one with the brush, but I also have the one in the pump. Did I bring that one out? And I don't know if the actual formula is different, but I like the one in the brush better than the one in the pump. But I feel like this really makes my skin look plump, if that makes sense. I feel like it fills in my pores and it makes it look like I have smooth skin and I don't know if it's because it is instant age reversing I don't know what it does to your skin but it does make your skin look younger for sure oh and I am in the color sun beige on this and with the true match I'm between a w4 and a w6 depending on what season it is now going from that I'm going to show you guys my favorite drugstore concealers and I feel like concealers are a really hard thing to find ones that you love as well. Okay so the first one is the True Match Sticks and I like these enough but I wouldn't say they were my favorite favorite. I do like that it's in a stick form so you can kind of just draw um, where you need to do. If you like doing contouring with a cream product rather than a powder product. I would suggest these because you can draw them right onto your face. I have almost every color in these and these are really good for spot concealing as well. So I don't use it every day but I carry it in my purse because it's so easy to use and it blends really well. Now the next one is the NYX HD concealer and this one's actually out. I need to get a new one. I'm in the color beige in this one and this one is kind of like a lip gloss wand and it really is very high coverage. I love that it's a wand. I love that it covers well. Um, it doesn't get very cakey on me. It does feel more dry than moist but for me it doesn't settle in my fine lines or anything and I actually really love this. I feel like I go between this and my MAC Pro Longwear concealer the most so love that one. And then the next one is the Sonia Kashuk concealer palette and mine is in the number 07 and I... <sighs> I've been looking for it forever and it has all the other numbers except for the one I need. But basically you get four colors which is totally awesome. One of them is a setting powder. This one's a powder, the three are cream. But it's nice because you know different places in your face is different colors. So what works under your eyes for brightening isn't going to work on your skin because then it's going to be too light. So what I really like about this is that there is three different colors so you can use one little palette for your whole face because right now what I often do is I use a different concealer for my face than for my under eyes and this one just kind of solves that whole problem. The consistency is amazing. It is so smooth and creamy, conceals really well. I really like it. I don't ever use a setting powder for my concealer and I feel like all of these ones that I just showed you work really well even without a setting powder for my skin but I am not super oily so now moving through our face I'm gonna show you some of my blushes and I have several colors of these brands but these are the ones I feel like I use the most um, the first one is the Milani rose blush and this one is in romantic rose um, I really like this one because it just kind of gives you a natural kind of rosy color but it's not so chalky I have found with some of these rose blushes some of the colors are a little bit chalky for me and I 
I don't really like that, but I like this one. I've used that one the most. And then the Milani Baked Blushes. I love the colors. I love how it gives you a little bit of a sheen to it. And the one that I like the most is the Rose de Oro. Um, I'm actually using a different one right now, but overall I would have to say that this is my favorite color. It has a little bit of gold in it too, so it just makes your skin look really warm and kind of sun-kissed, I guess. So I really like that one. Next are the NYX blushes, and NYX blushes are actually quite pigmented. Um, and this one is in Summer Peach, and I kind of alternate between this one and the one called, I think it's called Pinched. This one is a more peachy, corally color, and the Pinched is more of a pinky color. But if you're looking for an inexpensive blush that's going to give you really good payoff, that is a really good one as well. So the last couple of years, I've really loved these Wet n Wild eyeshadow palettes. They're so cheap, but they're so pigmented, super creamy, super soft. I'm sure you guys have seen those before. And I also really, really love the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows. I have a ton and ton of ton of these. Um, this one is an Ice Latte. They just go on so creamy and smooth. I actually just use my finger for them. I don't ever use a brush with these. Um, but the colors are really pretty. They're creamy. They last really long. And this is what I use for my eyebrows. I use, I use the color Continuous Cocoa, which is a matte brown. And it stays on my eyebrows all day. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't smear, and it actually works really, really great for them. So I love that they're also dual use eyeshadows. So if you're looking for a really good eyebrow powder and you have dark hair, you might want to check that out in Continuous Cocoa because before that I used the Benefit Brow Wow and before that I used the Anastasia Brow Powder and I feel like this one stays on even longer than those. Okay next I just wanted to touch on this even though I feel like I show this in every video. I, f I, I feel like I need to get like a lifetime supply. It's the Milani Infinite Eyeliner um, in Everlast and it's just a black liquid kind of jelly eyeliner. It is not that watery so it does take a while to get used to but I will not use any other eyeliner except for this one because it's the only one that doesn't smudge all over the place. So I love 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 this. This is my backup one. Do you see how obsessed I am? Okay now on to lips. First of all, always I always have some sort of chapstick. This one is the peppermint one. I just keep that in my makeup bag. And then, um, okay so these are the Essence Stay With Me lip glosses and I think I have every color they have but I use these two the most. This one is called Kiss 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 and this one is called Candy Bar and they just smell so good. Um, they have the applicators that are like round and then skinny round and they just oh, they smell good, they feel good and they're super super cheap and you can find these ones at Ulta. I want to say everything that is Essence is like under five bucks. So it's super cheap and affordable. Okay, lipsticks, I have to say my all-time favorite drugstore lipstick ever, ever, ever of all time is the Milani Color Statement lipsticks. And I do have every color. They did send me each of their collections. But these are the most pigmented colors and they are, you know, pigmented, but they don't dry out your lips. They last a really, really, really long time. I mean, like, I can put it on in the morning and not reapply it. I was going to just try to pick out some of my favorite colors, and then I realized I really do like every single color. I think there's only two colors that I don't wear. One of them is a frosty orange, and one of them is a frosty brown. But besides those two, I wear every single color. So if you're looking for a really good lipstick, I would check these out. Now, some other lipsticks that I really like are the Maybelline. I don't know what these are called, but the ones with the colored lids. Um, I have quite a few in the pink collection and then quite a few in the kind of nude collection. This one I pulled out because I have bought this one so many times and it's just a really nice warm nude and it's called Totally Toffee. I also wear the color Warm Me Up a lot which is also a very beautiful nude. But um, yeah, these ones, I think they're called Color Sensational. I probably should have checked. But these lipsticks are really moisturizing. Love how they feel on your lips. And then I feel like these lip butters by Revlon got so much press in the beginning when they first came out I feel like everyone was talking about them and then they just kind of got neglected so I thought I would bring mine back out this one is my very favorite color in the summertime it's called lollipop and these lip butters are like between a lip balm and a lipstick really good payoff but they feel so so good on your lips I this one's my favorite one lollipop I think I have like four of them another lipstick brand that I really like is NYX and this one is the black label brand but I also really like the round lipsticks which I think are like two bucks or something 
But this is a color that I wear a lot and this one is called Heather and it's just kind of a nudie pink color. But I also wear, um, I have a couple of red ones that I wear quite a bit. These ones are quite moisturizing. So if you are wearing a bright red or a darker color, it does bleed a tiny bit, so you want to make sure you wear lip liner with them. Speaking of lip liners, I feel like the ones that I own the most of, again, are NYX and Milani because they're... So oh, and Giordana ones. Because they're super cheap, but they work really well and they have a really good selection of colors. I don't feel like you need to spend 20 bucks on a lip liner because I don't feel like the $20 lip liners work that much better. And um, these ones are, you know, they go on smooth, they don't crumble, they don't crack, they're not... Some lip liners are super drying to me and I feel like it makes it look like you have fine lines around your lips. So these are really super creamy, I love them. And then um, I had to show you this one, this one is like a nub on one side. Um, these are the Milani Brow and Eye Highlighter Pencils. They're super creamy. I use this every single day. I have them in every color, but I use number 02 the most. Do you see that? I put this under my eyebrow, and it really defines under my eyebrow without that concealer look that people do. But I also bring it down onto my eyelid, and I use it as an eyeshadow base. And like I said, I like products that I can do more than one thing with, because then I you know, eliminate steps. So this is one of my favorites. It has a matte side on one side and then a pearly side on the other, which the pearly side is really nice for doing like your inner tear ducts or like your lower lash line just to kind of brighten your eyes or even like, you know, tight lining, which works really well too. Totally multifunctional. Um, I think, who is it? Melissa Michelle. She uses these to contour her nose. So, I mean, totally multifunctional. I love these if you haven't checked those out. And then my top nail polish picks. Um, these are probably my very favorite because they're so cheap and they have so many colors is the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear nail polishes. How much are these? Like two bucks? But I love them. Their colors are really nice. They're very opaque. They go on nice. They wear nice. And then my other favorites I actually have on my nails right now. I have this kind of periwinkle color. But it's the Milani Color Statement Nail Polishes. And I think they're around like 3 or $4. But these are so pigmented. They're not thick. A lot of these nail polishes, you only need one coat. And you're good to go. So I really love those. Okay, I have three more things. Hang in there. Okay. So my all-time favorite mascara has to be the Falsies Mascara. I'm using a different one right now, but because I opened it, I, you know, I'm continuing to use it. But this one is the one that I always go back to that never fails me. Has to be waterproof though. I feel like from my short, stubby, straight eyelashes, this is the best mascara for me. Also wanted to show you guys these tweezers. These are just the Revlon tweezers. I had a pair of Tweezer Man tweezers for years and years and years and then I left them somewhere. I couldn't find them and kind of on a whim I picked these up because I really needed tweezers and I think I've had these for probably a good 10 years and they still work really really well. So I don't know if Revlon has different kinds of tweezers but these ones have worked really well for me. And then the last thing, also for your eyebrows, and these don't even make it to the drugstore because these are so cheap. These are eyebrow razors. I get these from the dollar store. They come in a pack of three. And I just use these for quick cleanups. A lot of days, I don't have time to be like tweezing everything. So I will just go under my eyebrow, go ch 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 and it cleans up all the little fuzzies. It cleans up, you know, stray hairs and stuff like that. The really thin fine hairs it'll get all of those I know people who use these like on their face as well um, but I use them just for my eyebrows and you can get these at the dollar store like I said for a dollar for three of them and I love them this one is the Miss Adoro there's also a brand called Twinkle and then there's a knockoff brand called Tinkle they all work the same but I really 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 love these so anyways, those are my drugstore favorites. So anyways, if you have any drugstore favorites that I did not mention, please let me know in the comments below. That way, if I haven't tried it, then at least I know, oh, well, someone else likes it. Maybe it does work well. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys are all doing really well. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. If you're not a subscriber, make sure to subscribe and you won't miss any videos. And I will talk to you later. Bye.